Hey y'all, welcome to The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Leslie. I am The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I upload content mostly on cooking, sometimes um, grocery hauls, sometimes farm stuff, sometimes um, try-on hauls, all sorts of things. So I would love for you to be a part of our family. Please consider hitting subscribe, hit that little bell and set, select the word all so you don't miss anything that I upload. Today we're making just a good old country, good old country meal. So stay tuned. <laughs> Okay guys, so I guess you can tell it's a no makeup, uh, hair pulled back kind of day. It has been a day at the farm <laughs> this morning. was real. Actually, we had lightning hit our farm yesterday. And so we did not sleep well last night because we had to make sure it knocked out like, um, you know, some of the systems and stuff. So we did not sleep much last night. So, and especially Bryant. I slept more than he did, but um, he would set alarms and go over there and check and everything. So, yeah, it's been a day. But our friend Rob, I know you met him out on the last rib video. Um, he is in town working on Caroline's house again. And when he comes into town to do part of the electrical in Caroline's house, he stays with us. So I'm cooking supper tonight and we're having meatloaf. I've already done a video on meatloaf, but you guys have requested another one, like a newer one. So that's what we're doing tonight. We're doing meatloaf. I'm doing green beans. You've also requested to see how I do my green beans and I'm doing stewed potatoes. Now I know a lot of you ask me what in the world is stewed potatoes. It's just boiled potatoes with lots of butter. Some people put milk in it. I don't. But some people do, and you can. By all means, you can. Sometimes, if you're boiling it and you put the milk in it and it kind of curdles just a little bit and you got those little buttery, milky chunks of stuff. I mean, it's really good. I know it sounds gross when I say the word chunks, but but I don't put milk in mine, so it's just going to be um, potatoes and butter and water and salt. <laughs> That's it. And you cook them to death. So... Um, I'm going to get started. I'll bring you back and I'm just going to kind of take you through the whole evening of everything. Okay. Okay, guys. So I'm down to my last two cans of homemade green beans. I hope Rob knows how special he is that I'm using my last two green beans. <laughs> so I'm just going to pour these in the pot here. Now, I salt my green beans when I can them. So, I'm not going to add any salt because sometimes when I add salt, I've been known to get it just a tad bit too salty. Because, y'all, I love me some salt. So, I'm not going to salt this. And I'm fixing extra because... Um, Jamie's parents are also in town and I have not talked to Caroline to see what their supper plans are. So I'm making plenty in case they want to come eat too. So I don't know if they have plans yet or not. All right, let me grab everything else. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So here's the order of how I normally do things with my green beans or, or the way I season them. Um, if I have ham pieces or or a ham hock or something like that. That's how I season my uh, beans. If I don't have that, then I usually save my bacon grease of a morning in a little jar and I'll use a spoonful of that. If I don't have that, I use a piece of bacon. And that's what we're doing today. I'm just cutting it in half. I'm just, you can fry these up ahead of time and put them in there fried and that way you can eat little bits and pieces, but I don't have time to fry that, nor do I want to mess up my kitchen. So I'm just going to um, take a piece of bacon here. I'm just going to take a piece of bacon and I'm just going to cut it in half. Well, I don't, don't look like I'm going to have to cut it. <laughs> kind of cut itself. All right. 
So I'm just going to put that in there. Okay. Then I'm going to take, I normally would use onion flakes, dried onion flakes, or a real onion, but I need my onion for my meatloaf. So I don't, and I'm out of onion flakes. So onion powder it is. So we're going in with some onion powder. And turn you guys down there. And look, if you had some bouillon, um, that would definitely be good in here. Or if you don't even have bacon and you don't have any of those other things I listed, put just a drizzle of olive oil. Season it up with some onion, somehow with onion, and you're good to go. But now I've got one more thing to go in, and I'm going to put about a tablespoon of brown sugar. And I'm going to, again, cook them to death because that's what we do in the South. Don't we cook our vegetables to death? So, I'm just going to stir that in. I'm going to get these... Uh, you know, bring them to a simmer, put the lid on them, and just let them cook. And then I'll I'll fish the bacon out before we um, before we sit down to eat. Okay. And if you like your juice in there, then you may have to add water. If you don't like juice, just let it cook almost out. Um, either way is totally fine. These green beans are to die for. And I don't have to doctor them up a whole lot because they're homegrown and home canned. So they don't need a lot of doctoring. So I'm going to get these on the stove. I'll be back and we'll start the next dish. Okay, y'all. So the beans are on the stove. They're boiling. In fact, I need to, let me just go ahead and turn them down. And let's get started on the meatloaf. So I'm going to make a pretty big one. Um, this is two, well, not a big one, but a two pounder. This is two pounds of our homegrown ground beef. And I'm just going to kind of break it up a little bit, make sure it's a good, nothing's still frozen in there. Okay. And right here I have chopped up, about, that's about a half a cup of onion, about a third of a cup of green pepper. May not use it all. I always go by the look. So I'll try to keep up and tell you how much I've put in here. I would say that's about a third of a cup of the onion. I mean, that was a half a cup of onion. Um, and so I used, you know, probably a third of that half. And I definitely want there to be some green and, and onion. You know, I want to be able to see it. So I think I'm going to use all the green onion. I mean, all the green, <laughs> green pepper. Did y'all watch my video on bloopers the other night? It doesn't appear like they've stopped. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, guys, let me wipe my hands and we'll go on to the next ingredient. Okay, so you can season this up with whatever you like. If you want garlic, then by all means, add garlic. Uh, I'm just going to season it with um, half a teaspoon of salt and about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. All right, to this, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and add all my dry stuff to it real quick. I'm going to crunch up. Yeah, about a half a sleeve, you know, almost half a sleeve of crackers, you know, a good handful. And you want to be sure you're getting them, you know, they don't have to be crumbs, but if you have any huge pieces, you want to be sure you're crunching them up. And for measurement's sake, just because I don't ever measure, I'm going to measure. Let's start with a third of a cup of oatmeal. We'll start with a third. If we need more, we can add more. So let me get this mixed in. And then we'll start adding the good stuff. <laughs> it's all good stuff. Now I'm not quite ready to um, make this 
I'm not quite ready to stick it in the oven, but this is something you can make ahead. You can make this the day before. You could make it and freeze it and then get it out and cook it. This is a great freezer meal. You just get it ready to this point or you put in all your stuff after you put in the egg and everything. Get it to this point, wrap it up, freeze it, and then pull it out, thaw it, bake it. Okay, so to this, I'm gonna add one egg. Sometimes I add two. You can add one or two. It just depends. All right, so there's the one egg. Now, before I get my hands all messy again, I'm gonna throw in some ketchup. And that's probably a good half a cup of ketchup, if not more. And this is the fun part. Glad I took my rings off. And you wanna be sure you're incorporating that. Meatloaf, some people try to make meatloaf too complicated. And it's like one of those things where less is more. Like, you don't have to have a fancy tomato sauce going in there. You, All you need is ketchup. And I'm telling you, that is like the secret ingredient to mine. We knew this guy that ran a restaurant one time, and he tasted my meatloaf, and he says, now that's what meatloaf should taste like. And... Y'all, it is so good. So good. I'm going to go in with just a half a thing of the third of a cup. <laughs> so, whatever that is. All you math whizzes. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit more oatmeal. And it doesn't matter what kind of oatmeal. If you don't have oatmeal, don't worry about it. Put the whole sleeve of crackers. Um, in fact... Oatmeal is just a recent change I've made to mine. And, all right. Okay, guys, so let's get this started. Let's get this in the pan. And I just go ahead and place it in my pan and kind of form a loaf. It doesn't have to touch the sides. In fact, I don't really want it to touch this. It can touch the ends, but um, I don't really want it to touch the sides because um, I'm gonna stick some bread in there to soak up any grease that it may cause. And you just wanna, I mean, even if I have to pull it over here to the side to make it into a loaf, and then I can slide it back, but I want to get it even because I want it to cook even. So I want to have a pretty even loaf. Got a lot of green peppers right there in one spot. <laughs> so it likes to bunch up here in the center. So kind of finagle it where it's an even loaf and then leave you a spot to Put an old hot dog bun or something. And that's, you don't have to do that either. That just soaks up the grease. Okay, so since I'm not ready for this, I'm just going to cover it and let it wait. Um, I'll cook it in a 350 degree oven. I'm not sure how long, but um, I'll let you know at the end of this. And when I, when it's almost done, I'll take, um, I'll take it out and I'll put more ketchup. No special sauce is needed, just use ketchup. Just use some ketchup on top, and oh my goodness, this is gonna be the most moist, flavorful, and delicious meatloaf you've ever had. So, that's what we'll do. I'm gonna wrap it up and wait till it's time. I'll get it in a 350 degree oven, and I'll let you know how long. But I'll bring you back in just a little bit, and we'll start on our potatoes. Okay guys, so I'm ready to stick the, ham the meatloaf in and I've just found an old, it's not old, it's not like gross old, <laughs> but it's, you know, I've had it last week, so piece, it's a hoagie roll. And so I'm just going to like stick that down in there. If it was even older than this, it would probably be better, but the only thing I have really, really old as far as bread goes is some, um, y'all, is some hot dog buns and I'm even scared to tell you how old they are but they have not even molded yet 
which makes me worry just a little bit about, you know, makes me worry. Okay, so I'm going to stick this in the oven, and about halfway through, it's going to cook at 350 for about an hour. About halfway through, I'll pull it out. I'm going to add some ketchup to the top, and then it'll finish baking, and we're going to have delicious meatloaf, green beans, and stewed potatoes. Let's get to the stewed potatoes now. Okay, guys, so in the pot, I have, uh, I don't know, about two and a half pounds to three pounds of yellow potatoes. I've peeled them and I've cut them in like chunks. I had already put this in the water and got the water going, um, <laughs> so it was hot. So, um, but it's it's a it's a good sized chunk, but not huge. You know, it's it's a bite sized piece. Is what it is. And so I've put water. I've put about a teaspoon and a half of salt. And yes, I have put a whole stick of butter. A whole stick. Not good unless you use a whole stick. No, it is still good. But I love putting a whole stick of butter. I put a whole stick in my mashed potatoes and I put a whole stick in my stewed potatoes. So, we're just going to let those cook away until they get nice and soft and mushy. <laughs> and we, Brian, Isaac likes them to be so soft that he um, can take his fork and make mashed potatoes out of the stewed potatoes. So, okay, we're going to let this supper cook. I'm getting ready to pour up my sweet tea and we're going to have supper. And y'all, those of you that know I'm eating healthy, this is going to be tough. This is probably going to be one of the toughest nights that I've had to, to turn away from food. Because this is one of my favorite meals. Stewed potatoes. Oh, I could eat my weight in stewed potatoes. But I'm going to eat healthy tonight and I'm going to feed my family well. Okay, guys, here is the meatloaf. It just came out. I left it in about an hour took it out put the ketchup on and put it back in for just a minute there are our green beans and our stewed potatoes i'm going to fix bryant a quick little sample plate before we sit down and eat and let him tell you what he thinks of everything okay y'all i fixed him a little sample plate before we sit down to actually eat supper and so he can just tell you what he thinks little is the key word please <laughs> that is like a little bitty saucer <laughs> mm. all right here we go let's dive in was this a store-bought hamburger or our hamburger? our hamburger uh, lmb farm hamburger but works just as great with store-bought mm -hmm. i love her meatloaf really good very flavorful the onions and the peppers sauteed really good cooked really good they weren't actually sauteed they cooked, cooked in, in the, the meatloaf yeah. Meat yeah yeah sorry for the confusion but definitely a really really good meatloaf it's not dry very moist and so it's definitely a keeper what about the potatoes scrumptious scrumptious yeah. <laughs> We like stewed potatoes or cream potatoes. But yeah, and like good. I said earlier, a lot of people aren't sure what stewed potatoes are, but they're just boiled with butter, and some people add milk. We don't. And you can go back. She's actually got a stewed potato video. Go click up in the video section and look for stewed potatoes, and it's on there. Yeah, this is the first time I've done my green beans, I think, on the video. Oh, yeah. Got a little sugar in them, right, Mom? Yep. So, and a little bacon. Mm-hmm. This time it has bacon. Mm -hmm. Lots of time I use ham pieces or any kind of seasoning meat you have. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. There it is. You have it right here on the Farming Pastures Wife. Now he's ready for his real plate. You got that right. Here's our friend Rob. He's back again. Last time he was here, I made ribs. That's right. Tonight, yeah. it's, tonight it's meatloaf. Tonight it's meatloaf. Okay, guys. Thank you for joining us for this good old country dinner, supper, Meatloaf. Meatloaf. Let me show you what I'm having. Salad. I'd rather have meatloaf. I'm having meatloaf. <laughs> I'd rather have meatloaf. But thank you guys for watching. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.